Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be talking all about how private practice therapists can use AI to improve their online marketing systems. In this video, I am going to give you 10 ways therapists can utilize ChatGPT for their private practice. If you haven't heard of ChatGPT, it's an AI tool that is really having its moment. Tons of business owners are learning this new world of AI and therapists are not exempt. This can be a money and time-saving tool that can help you to show up higher on Google and get more aligned clients with less time and effort. My name is Alyssa Powers and I am a therapist in private practice. I created this YouTube channel to teach you the things that grad school didn't. If you like this video and you want to see more content for therapists, I would so appreciate it if you subscribed. Now let's get into the video. If you've been on social media at all lately, you've probably noticed that AI has quickly become the talk of the business world. So it feels like overnight everyone was talking about ChatGPT and how to use it to make money, how to use it in your business, and how to use it even in your personal life for things like recipes, meal planning, planning birthday parties, the list goes on and on. It seems like it can be used for anything. So today I want to walk you through 10 ways that therapists specifically can use ChatGPT for their businesses. This is going to apply mostly to private practice therapists, but I think there are some that could apply more widely to therapists in nonprofits and agencies as well. It's no secret that AI can be a massive time saver for small businesses. Using tools like ChatGPT, Swell AI, Copymatic, Jasper, and so many more can allow you to work smarter and not harder. Once you master the art of using them to your advantage, you will get time back in your day to do what you actually love, which is hopefully working with your clients and if you own a group practice, your staff. So without further ado, let's get into the 10 different ways that therapists can use AI like ChatGPT in their businesses. So number one is ChatGPT can conduct keyword research for your business. So if you know anything about optimizing your website for SEO, you want to be using keywords that will help you to show up on Google. Now this could be a whole other video and if you're interested, there are some great videos that already exist on SEO keyword research that you could look into, but you can type into chat GPT that you are a therapist and give all the details of your practice and have it come up with keywords that you should include on your website for SEO. Number two, you can have ChatGPT write your email templates. So if you have an email list for your practice, then you can ask it to come up with email templates that you can use and reuse that sound friendly and professional. Number three, you can use ChatGPT for content ideas. So if you need a social media post on Facebook or Instagram, you can ask it to generate that for you. And the more specific, the better. So if you want to write a social media post about a new group for people with high achiever anxiety, you can put that right into ChatGPT and say, write me an Instagram post and it will produce that even with the emojis that go along with it and you can copy and paste that do some light editing format it the way you want and you'll be on your way number four this is the one that i have experimented the most with so far for my own practice and that is using chat gpt to generate blogs so you can use ai to generate seo friendly titles for blog posts you can have it come up with a blog post, generate all the headers. I, for example, will type in, write a blog post about how pets improve our mental health. And it will generate that for me. And then maybe I want a follow-up, like how to apply for um, an emotional support animal. And then I can 
add that to it and just keep adding and adding until it's as long as I want it to be. So if you are working on your website and trying to optimize it at all for SEO, you know that blogging is so important. It's an easy way to bulk up content, use keywords, and just have more content that exists on your website because Google likes to see that we are adding things regularly to our websites and that we have a lot of content that people are clicking on. So number one favorite so far way that I have used ChatGPT is for blogs. So number five, and I had not thought of this, but I heard this on a podcast using chat GPT to improve existing content. So instead of having AI write your content from scratch, you can have it proofread and improve your content and edit it. So you have to paste it in there and ask it to do that. But that is so cool because then you can just refresh what already exists instead of completely reinventing the wheel. Number six, if you have any videos or podcasts that you put out for your practice, there are tools that can timestamp your videos and your podcast episodes for you. I don't think ChatGPT does that. I think that Swell AI, which I have not experimented with yet, but just know that that exists because that is a huge time saver if you are someone who produces video content or podcast content for your practice. Number seven, you can have AI write job descriptions if you are looking to hire new clinicians. So you can put in a really specific prompt about who would be the right candidate for the job and it will produce a job description that you can then post on LinkedIn or however you hire and attract the right kind of clinician for your practice. Okay, number eight, you can use ChatGPT or any AI to generate statistics for your blog posts, for your website, even really to use with clients. I think it would be a great tool because how often are we trying to remember all these statistics we have from grad school rattling around in our heads? I know I have tons of statistics on my website of like, you know, how many young adults in America report to have depression, things like that, that need updated too. So asking ChatGPT to give you statistics that you can then sprinkle throughout your content is super valuable. Number nine is having ChatGPT write meta descriptions for your blog posts. So meta descriptions are what is going to show up in Google underneath the link to your different blogs. Really, it's just a way to get keywords in there. People probably are not looking on Google and then finding your blogs. They're probably going to your website first, but know that you can ask ChatGPT to produce those meta descriptions for you, which is often a step that I just skip at this point because my website's already optimized. But now that I realize how easy it could be, I might start using that again. And last but not least, you can use ChatGPT to write about pages for you. So if you have a private practice website, then you at least have an about page, hopefully, about yourself. If you have clinicians under you, then you should have a page about each of them because that's going to help your SEO so much. So you can provide a resume in ChatGPT and it can produce an about page blurb and boom, you have an about page that would have been maybe really time consuming to produce and is just an easy thing for us to put off because I think as therapists, we hate writing about ourselves. So that's 10 different ways to leverage AI in your small business. So my tips now that I have utilized AI a little bit more in my business would be to use AI and things like ChatGPT to get unstuck and avoid writer's block and avoid not putting the marketing time into your business because this is a great way to get unstuck. 
it's so hard to start a blog when you're just staring at a blank page or it's so hard to write a meta description when it's just blank. But this is a great launching point. I still go back and edit everything and put it in my own tone because that is irreplaceable. AI is never going to be able to put it in the exact way that I would put it to a client. And ultimately our clients are looking to hear from us and our voices. So I would use it as a way to get unstuck, to brainstorm, to get going on some of these things that are really easy to just shove under the rug and say, okay, well, I'm going to work on SEO next year when really SEO could be the game changer for your business. Um, and then my next tip would be to just be as specific as possible. So when you're using chat GPT, you're going to have way better results if you tell it exactly what you want and you're not super vague. So if you just say, write a blog post about how to cope with anxiety, that's going to be a very broad blog post versus saying something like, write a 500 word blog post about how young adults can overcome high achiever anxiety. That's going to be a much more interesting blog if you're specific about it. And then lastly, I think making sure that your keywords are in all of the content you're producing because keywords are life in terms of being found on Google, your aligned clients finding you, and just doing search optimization in general. So it does seem like ChatGPT can add keywords in and brainstorm them for you, but I would just double check, like especially we're all doing local SEO unless you're marketing your practice in multiple states. So making sure you have, like I'm in Ohio, making sure that my website says Ohio. So I'm attracting people that can actually see me where my license is, um, is important. And of course, beyond that, even keywords, like I do religious trauma counseling. That's a keyword that I sprinkle everywhere. I do high achiever anxiety counseling. I'm gonna sprinkle that, adult ADHD. You know your business best. This is just an amazing tool that I think we as therapists might shy away from, but really we shouldn't because this is the way that things are changing in business. And if you own a private practice, you are a business owner, even if it's just you. My practice is just me. I don't have any clinicians under me and still I have to market myself and it doesn't have to be so hard. This is an amazing tool that we should be utilizing. So if you found this video helpful and you made it to the end, thanks so much for watching. If you would subscribe, that would be so awesome. My channel is very new and I am working on coming out with content that is relevant to you all and I love hearing from you. So leave me a comment below if you've used ChatGPT or any AI for your business. I would love to hear about it. Bye.